Decanter is one of the most powerful programming language. So I got a add student form here and this these are called as UA component programming and I'm going to create a label is equal to label so this is a class for uh, ideally so already i got my python version 3.7 installed in my computer so file now i'm trying to run it once if you run it you are able to see the window here Hi, so welcome to Wiki Tiki and Kashiv Infotech. So if you didn't like, uh, now I'm going to talk about Tkinter programming in Python GUI. So how to create a GUI applications with the Python using Tkinter? Before that, like, uh, I got a lot of technology videos on my channel. If you miss any of my previous videos. Yes, you can check my channel Wiki Tiki. And if you love my channel, like I request you people to click the subscribe button and support us and click the bell button and click that all symbol to get regular notification if any videos because I used to put minimal of three to four videos per week so you can use it and uh, yeah let's move on to teak into programming before that like uh, I have written lots lots of technological tutorials in this particular like uh, uh, website wikidiki.com slash tutorial just go there and you can watch all my technological tutorials so now we are going to talk about the Tkinter programming. This is a most powerful programming and GUI for Python. So, like uh, Tkinter is uh, one of the most powerful program, and we are going to discuss on this. Okay, before that, like we should understand the Python types. The Python, like I want to write Python programming, sir. We can write a console application. It's it can be written in a like a command prompt windows or something like that. And the second thing is like we can create web applications using Django. So Django is one of the framework we use to create your Python programming. And apart from that, in like uh, beyond Django, you got Flask programming also. So Flask programming for creating your web application in Python. And I'm looking for a desktop application, sir. Desktop application is nothing but the application which is used in a medical shop, or a college management system, a student management system. It is like a, it is proprietary to that particular operating system. So I have to install the software. I have to install the application. Web application, go to the browser, link, put the link, and you can get it. So you got three different types of application for desktop. Tkinter is one of the most powerful programming language. You may ask me, sir, only Tkinter is there? No. We got multiple GUI interfaces. One is Tkinter, which is really damn good. Okay, and it is like a shipped along with the Python, so that is our major advantage. There is another GUI which is called a WX Python. So it's a cross platform and it is associated or shipped with the WX widgets GUI kit. The WX widgets are there and you have to use it to access this WX Python and PYQT. So PYQT, like it got a QT GUI kit. So it is shipped with the QT GUI kit and it is a cross-platform GUI interface. And finally, we got a J Python. So obviously J indicates Java. So this particular, like we can write Java related programming languages to create your application in Python. So Python got a 100% access to libraries of Java. So I can use the Java libraries, write the code in Python programming, accessing the Java libraries using the concept called J Python or Zython. So J Python or J Zython, okay? Anyway, like these are some of the major interfaces. The reason why I am using Tkinter is very very simple. The reason is like it is associated shipped with Python. So I don't want to install anything new thing. So Tkinter associated with the Python, you are able to create applications. Applications can be like a, like a, a useful application for the business or something like that. Okay, like uh, what you may ask me, sir, GUI graphical user interface, what is this, sir? The user is accessing an application. Gmail is a GUI. Facebook is a GUI. So graphical user interface, using that one, the user is accessing. So I got a add student form here. And this these are called as UI components. UI components are called widgets. So the entire window is called the main window and these are all called as UI components. So the user will be accessing this particular application using like a, the, the concept is called graphical user interface.
okay so like uh, let's talk about the eKinter programming so i'm going to talk about the labels in ua designing so like i got here I, i'm going to write python programming and i'll be in, like using your tkinter so obviously tkinter is nothing but a yeah, library so we have to import the libraries so from tkinter import star and afterwards i will create a window i'll create a window and afterwards so label everything i'll try to put it i want label text box and what other things you want you put it in the window okay and so the concept of adding the label into the window is called as packing packing okay so i'm trying to pack the label in the window and finally window dot main loop wrap up everything execute it so import the library build the form add the controls pack it wrap it use it so that's how these are the four steps available in the programming languages in geek into programming you may ask yourself whether we need this main even look this is an optional one so i'm trying to load the library from geek into import star so i imported the library and afterwards i'm creating an object i'm creating an object window window is equal to tk of i create an object for this window dot title venkat first t like a tk inter programming in the top i want the title as venkat first tk inter programming and i'm going to create a label is equal to label so this is a class for that i create an object so this label needs to be placed in the window and what is the text you want in the label hello world so i create the label and pack this label to this window and window dot main loop will wrap everything the program is ready to go so as i told you like um, now the first thing is like create the window this is the first step and the second step is create the label and afterwards i pack the label in the window you can see the label over there in the top winked first like a tick into programming and you got the label over there so this is a label with the text i'm trying to give it okay so yeah <clears throat> yeah the first thing as i told you like we are going to create the window so creating the window is like creating an object and after like a tk of is the object so like for the class you are creating an object and afterwards like create the label and finally like pack the label in the window so this is a overall process which we are trying to do it let's move on okay so what is the program which we are going to see it now okay so label tk into programming we are going to see it now the first step is like importing the libraries as i told you this is a piece of code from tk into import star so the program is ready now i'm trying to initialize the window window is equal to tk of window dot title winked first tk into programming okay i got the title in the top so over here you got the label and packing it and window dot main look now let's see like how the program works the first thing is like uh, the program will start navigating to the pro like uh, to the library and afterwards uh, to the uh, like object window and uh, the title and afterwards like initializing the library pack the library and finally window dot main look you may ask me a question so why you strike that one it is an option i don't want to give this window dot main look itself the program will work okay so probably i'll try to show it to you okay this is how the label program works yes uh, let's move on to the practical part now so like uh, before going further i want to share you the python interview questions in like i play a lot of python interview questions so if you want to access the interview questions for python programming and gui interface like teach in term just go to this link ashuinfotech.com slash python iphone internship so i'll put the link in the description also you can use it just scroll down just scroll down to the mid of the like uh, page yes you can see some of the technical content here what is python where python use and everything you can use this particular uh, content and apart from that if you talk about the interview questions like uh, here is the video like about an introduction about python programming just watch it and enjoy the like uh, technological content which i got apart from that like yeah we got a lot of informations just use it and just scroll down to the bottom 
but to the bottom like uh, you will have the interview questions python interview questions and answers and here is the questions with the answers and everything so like i'm going to load lots lots of technical content over here and this is the basic content i want to tell you so here is the link cashewinfo.com slash python iphone internship okay just go to it and enjoy it so before going here i want to share about our company like uh, our company cashew infotech we are providing lots lots of 3d animated technological courses the languages is in english and tamil almost everything practical animated technology everything is animated so we got our ethical hacking python machine learning and data science java programming android web designing cloud computing with aws devops big data and you got your like mechanical related stuffs electrical electronics iot embedded so we are covering for all the department all kind of technologies okay you can use it so the type of training will be 100 percent practical training with the 3d based animation oriented trainings we are providing and if you are really interested if you're really interested i'll share the registration link to you you can use that link and like you can enjoy our sessions okay then we got almost 90 percent of our course apart from that i'll tell you the fact like we'll be giving the recognized certificate recently we launched a four bundle packages like ethical hacking python machine learning and data science if you are really interested just contact our number we are ready to help you you can whatsapp it so that i can help you on this you may ask me like what company you are running sakashi win for tech my company is guiding the people we are providing career guidance and job guidance so i didn't get a job sir i got a break sir so i need to go for a job i'll be giving career guidance to you and we are providing internships and in-plant training guiding students projects and mini projects we are into software development and website creation also if you need any kind of support please please consider me call contact me apart from the like uh, maybe like some of the people they'll be worried like i didn't get a job i got a break i want to shift my career how can i do it the only short term shortcut to get into the job is like internships go for internships if you're looking for internships treat me as a brother you just contact me i'm ready to help you apart from that any kind of technical guidance or anything please treat me as a brother and you can contact me at any time we are ready to help you now i'm trying to run it once if you run it you are able to see the window here so this is how okay so i think uh, we are reaching the end of the session so before finishing it like i want to show you like our company cashew in fact we are conducting courses internships and projects here is the website link the contact numbers whatsapp numbers and everything i've given so you just contact me for any kind of help and here is the links i want to share you you can use it and you just contact us we are ready to help you thanks for watching our technological sessions i'll put this all these links and everything in the description thanks for watching this particular video like we our company cashew in fact we are providing online internships and courses and direct internships at our chennai office if you are looking for any kind of guidance please contact us i request you people to share this particular video to your friends and everyone and please help us and support us so this is the time for me to like i say a goodbye to you thanks for watching this video and here are some of the like technical courses which i'm conducting now so if you need any kind of guidance please contact me Ta-da! Bye!